Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell as well to get the latest notifications about the videos I post out there for you guys. I am going to be reviewing the value kits from Sunday Riley and this is what they look like. So this is the power couple kit. Here's the space race kit. I will be talking about both of them. We're going to go through what's in these kits. I'm going to tell you how much they are, they cost right now, and also what's in them and how many ounces per bottle or per product you're getting. Let's start, start off with the power couple kit. I have used this kit from before, meaning that this is uh, my replacement. I had gone through maybe one or two of these kits previously, so I've restocked, so I already know my opinion on this particular kit, but I am going to be definitely sharing it with you, and I also am going to share with you my opinion and verdict on this kit. This is what it looks like. These are the two products you are getting in this kit. Right here you have Sunday Riley Good Jeans and right here you have Sunday Riley Luna. This is like a luxurious sampler type of kit. You are obviously not getting the whole size. You are getting it at a decent value. It retails for $85. They're saying on Sephora's website that this is the value of $105. You are getting Sunday Riley Good Jeans, which contains 0.5 ounces or 15 milliliters of the product. And you're also getting Sunday Riley Luna Night Luna Sleeping Night Oil and it also contains 0.5 ounces or 15 milliliters of product. So this is your lactic acid. The Luna oil contains the trans retinoil ester and this is the pharmaceutical grade of lactic acid and it also contains licorice. There's other ingredients. I'm not going to read through the entire list of the ingredients. They are available on Sephora's website in the description about these products. I also have looked up these products in their normal large sizes. The large Sunday Riley jeans um, contains one ounce of the product or 30 milliliters. It retails for $105. Luna contains also one ounce or 30 milliliters of the product and it also retails separately for $105. I do not own these guys in large sizes, so this is just what I have in the kit. I want to show you what the large size looks like. So I do own Flora, that's another oil by Sunday Riley. I've had this for a while. The reason I have it in the box is because I'm mental that way. I cherish my high-end makeup and I like to keep it in pristine condition. And one way to protect it is to keep it in their original boxes. And also because I think that the boxes are so pretty. I mean, you guys, look at that. Look at this. It's sitting in its own like little, little box with like foam right here and it's very protected. So this is what, oh my goodness, and it's hard to get out. So this is what Flora looks like. And I'm going to place her right next to Luna and you can see the differences for yourself. Both of these have this kind of a squeezy top and you unscrew the top and then you have a dropper. Take a couple of drops, you can add it into your favorite moisturizer or you can apply the oil directly onto your skin. I am going to talk about how I use these products and I am going to also give a couple of tips at the end of the video after I go through our other kit. So we will come back to that. I'm going to set this product aside for right now. Now that you can see the difference in sizing, you can kind of feel, oh, and by the way, this is also a dropper. The bottom of the bottle inside 
it's kind of like this and the dropper sits right in the middle and what I like about the design of the bottle is that when you get to the very bottom of your product all of the product kind of pulls into the center tip of this dropper sits nice and flush in the middle you can collect the very last droplets of the product so you don't waste the product. I also do like the quality of these bottles and the presentation and the packaging. Space Race Fight Acne Oil Plus Pores at Warp Speed Kit. This kit retails for $65. It contains the Serum Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. It also contains the Ultra Clarifying Face UFO Oil and it contains the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. I am going to open her up. Again, I have used the products inside of this, guys, but I have put them inside just to show you what the kit looks like. This is what you're getting in there. This Serum Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask contains 0.67 ounces or 20 milliliters of product. The UFO oil contains 0.5 ounces or 15 milliliters of product. The melting water gel toner contains 1.7 ounces or 50 milliliters of product. Now let's talk about the ingredient of this mask. It does contain 10% of sulfur and the UFO oil, amongst many other ingredients, does contain salicylic acid of 1.5% and it also contains black cumin seed oil. It does have, of course, many more other ingredients, but these were like listed at the very top and I think the, the way the ingredients are listed is basically their strength. I think that if the ingredient is at the top, it's more of it. And then when it goes down in the list, then the percentage or the strength is less. These guys compare, they're the same sizes. The difference here is between the two kits is that with the first kit, with this Power Couple Kit, you are getting only two products. And with the Space Race Kit, you are getting three products. And it looks like the Space Race Kit is way cheaper than the first one. I'm also going to talk about how much these products cost in their original big sizes. I also own the mattifying Martian toner in the large size. I'm going to put them like this side by side so you can compare. Martian toner in the large size retails for $55 and contains 4.4 ounces of the product or 130 milliliters. If you refer to my previous videos, you will find out that as I told you before, I tend to fall in love with the product and then sometimes I'm not careful before checking the ingredients and then I find out the bitter truth. This product contains alcohol. It's possible it's not high percentage of alcohol, but I do find that this particular product is somewhat drying to my skin. So there is that. If you are happy with it, it's actually an excellent product because the other ingredients are excellent in it. UFO oil in a bigger size costs $80. It contains 1.18 ounces or 35 milliliters of product. When I looked up all of these oils in their large sizes, for example, with the Flora that I do own, I used to think that all of these guys contain the same amount of product, but as I have discovered, for example, with the UFO, the large size retails for $80 and contains 1.18 ounces or 35 milliliters of product. With the Flora, for example, this contains 1 ounce or 30 milliliters of product and it retails for $90. There is also Sunday Riley Juno and I do not own Juno at all. It is my dream one day to own all of these oils in their large sizes. 
Juno contains also one ounce or 30 milliliters of product and it retails for $90. I noticed that the most expensive out of them all these oils is Luna. Luna's large size is priced at $105. Then we have uh, Flora and Juno at $90 at the large sizes and then we have UFO for $80 at the large size which actually seems to be even more than the other ones. So this is my observation out there for you guys. Now let's talk about these kits and my opinion, words and verdict. So I absolutely love this kit. This is amazing because both of the products I have fallen in love with. The Sunday Riley Good Jeans will do amazing work for your skin. It will brighten the complexion, it will tighten those areas that need tightening or it will do things for your pores, it will do things for your skin. I've used other products and other acids and of course I own other acids as well. For example, I do have the Oli Henriksen Invigorating Night Treatment and I like that one as well. But to be perfectly honest with you, it pales in comparison to Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley is of course more expensive. I mean, it's a luxury product, it's lactic acid, but I do see that the cost is justified because whenever I use Sunday Riley, I can almost go without foundation and feel absolutely confident in my complexion, in the appearance of my skin on my face. I cannot say the same thing about other acids. It's absolutely true that Sunday Riley will do miracles. And it's it's amazing. That's what I can tell you. Now, let's talk about the Luna oil. Again, absolutely amazing. This has retinol in it and it does wonders for my skin. Everybody has different complexion of the face. Everybody has different skin and different skin needs. So just because the product works for me doesn't mean that it will work for everybody. I want to say that it's wonderful and it will work for many people, but it's very individual and again there is this thing called price I mean these products are expensive but if you are looking into getting great skincare and if you want to invest into these products and actually see the results that you are getting I think they're well worth the price will I be rebuying this absolutely I probably will go ahead and bite the bullet and buy them in bigger sizes. Since I have used these products before, I can tell you how long this will last you. This will last you a little bit over a month, maybe even two months, if you are using it sparingly, if you are careful. You do not need a whole lot of the product. I'm going to show you. For example, this is how much I take and put on my face and it will take care of my whole face use it sparingly. Once you have achieved great complexion and you're just maintaining, you might want to use it sparingly or use it in those problem areas where you have blemishes or something like that that needs extra oomph. Even though it is a small sized bottle, it will last you a long time. I remember that the very first kit I got like this was in last January Believe it or not, I still have the previous bottle. Sometimes I keep my empties and I can tell you that like this is almost empty, but again, this is, I mean, it still has some product and that lasted me, guys. I mean, it still has some product and we're what? In October, at the end of October. So like I said, when you are using something like this, you do not need whole gobs of a huge amount, just a very small dollop. And the way I do this is I do my skincare, evening skincare routine. So also just to let you know, even though I heard somewhere from other reviewers and I think I even uh, saw it on Sunday Riley's information that you're supposed to use this like in the morning or during day and then this is in the evening. I use both of these products in the evening in my skincare routine in the evening. So I would of course do my cleansing, remove all the makeup, do the cleansing, go with my smart profile, apply the toner and then I go in with the acid 
and once that absorbs I go in with Luna but this is what I started doing uh, recently I would go in with my belief cream I would go in put a little bit of belief cream like that and then I would open this up take just a teensy wincy little bit of the product as you can see and then add this on to where you see how I did this I just put a little bit of that into my favorite moisturizer and then kind of emulsify it like that see how much you're getting I mean this is huge and that guys will last your Luna a long time because you just added this into your favorite moisturizer and then you can go and take it all over your face also, if you are putting the oil directly, let's say you do not want to put it into the moisturizer, just take again a very small amount and then do something like this. Do not rub it excessively because remember, these are cold pressed oils and they are kept in a glass bottle. You know how you look at the olive oils, extra virgin olive oil, and you want to buy something cold pressed? and in a glass bottle because the all of the nutrients all of these good things that the oil is enriched with are best when they are cold pressed as soon as you heat them up you are going to sabotage the goodness of the oil you're basically killing off all of the nutrients that the oil is going to give your skin and if we do excessive amount of you know like this you are warming the oil up heating it up by your hands and that's that you just killed off the product so you just do something like that and then you gently gently press it into your skin so this is how you use that product now now that I've deviated nice and long, huh? I picked it up at the Sephora in the Clackamas Town Center. I absolutely wanted to fall in love with this. I mean, wouldn't this be perfect? This actually helps fight acne, blemishes, redness, whatnot. I do have some of those problems. I don't have a lot of acne problems. I try to watch what I eat these days and that seems to help control it. But every once in a while, you know, PMS and whatnot, I do get acne. And then I get mental because I have a zit. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, so I wanted to love this kit because that would have really solved this whole thing for me, and it's a no-brainer. But here's the thing: I really, I don't, I don't love it. E even though I really, really respect um, Sunday Riley and her products and all of that, she's genius. I think. I just don't love it and I'll explain why. My biggest gripe of course is the alcohol so and since I already have this product this makes no sense for me to buy it in a small size. Also this will last you a long time so even if you just have a small size I believe this will last you a long time and if you don't really worry about alcohol being in your toner I do think personally it's a great product but I am going to talk about its packaging and the packaging flaw. Do you see this beautiful gold ring around it? You see how pretty it is? Let me show you what will happen with it when you've owned something like this for a long time and used it like that. Look how nasty this looks. This whole beautiful gold ring around this bottle, the, around the neck of the bottle has completely kind of peeled off I mean when I I haven't noticed this right away but recently noticed and I was horrified I don't understand what happened and on the inside that just looks nasty because it looks like that gold stuff has transferred into the insides of the lid and since I am using it like this and touching this area I am now concerned that some of this golden stuff has transferred into the product and maybe I even rubbed it into my face. Well, that's not good, right? I mean, I have no idea what's in this paint or whatnot. I don't know what that is, and I don't want to have it all over my hands or potentially in my skin. So that is a bummer. I was very disappointed. So if Sunday Riley, if you're listening, if whoever designed this bottle is listening, listen up. This is extremely, this is like a D okay it's a d minus on the packaging this is not 
cheap. These products are expensive. I expect them to perform 100% and I also expect the packaging to perform 100%. So they need to work on that, guys. So yes, it looks beautiful, but if you're going to open and close it like that a bunch of times, and you will, you're going to end up with that stuff peeled off. You can let me know in the comment section down below if you have encountered the same prob problem with this, with the Martian toner's packaging, and maybe you haven't. Maybe I just have a, a bad badge or something, and, and maybe that's why it's like that. Now, let's talk about the UFO oil. The smells of these oils, I mean, you guys, you know, I can tolerate this. This isn't a problem for me. But because I do like the oil and I want to repurchase it in a bigger size, it makes no sense for me to keep rebuying it in a smaller size. For the sake of the oil and for the sake of the whole oil collection, I would just go ahead and buy the oil separately and probably just dump this all together. And like I said, I started using Bosia toner, which doesn't have alcohol in it, and I'm pretty happy with it. With this mask, Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so total drama. I started using it. First of all, this to me pretty much has no value personally because it's such a small bottle. It's very hard to squeeze the product out. This is, I mean, you are going to, it's kind of hard for me to squeeze it out. It seems like when you're going to get to the bottom of the product, you're going to evidently lose a lot of it because it's so hard to like get all of the like every last drop out of this. For some reason it just... And also this to me it's it's okay when you're applying it on and it, of course it works and all of that. It, it's a little bit stinging your skin which is okay, it's understandable. It has sulfur in it and it's supposed to help fight acne and blemishes. But you guys, I've used it a couple of times and this is what I noticed. Next morning I wake up and I'm like, what's this stink? And that was my skin. So somehow the smell of the product lingered beyond, and of course I washed it off, it's a mask. You're not keeping it on for a long period of time. But guys, it's extremely stinky. It's like you're going to be walking around next day and the day after and each time I took a shower like this is like day two after using this every time I can smell it after being in a shower I smell sulfur like I'm emitting sulfur smell from my skin I can also smell it on my towel on the washcloths I'm considering to just like scrub and wash the entire bathroom I don't understand. I know it's total drama with me with this. It's it's not a big deal. If you are okay with that smell, if you can move beyond that, that's fine. I'm sure the ingredients in this are beautiful, but I cannot move beyond that. I'm willing to tolerate the ugly smell on the skin while the product is on me and working, but once I've removed it, I want the smell to be gone and certainly not linger with me the whole day, next day, the next day, the day afterwards, and after taking several showers. I mean, this is just insane. Insane! So I would not be rebuying it. Like I said, if you are okay with the smell, if you want to try it for the first time, these are good products, but the smell and a bad packaging to me is going to deliver the verdict as this is not going to be approved by Olga Guffey. So again, I am going to approve this. This is absolutely a must in your skincare routine if you want to see real results. Absolutely fantastic two products. The Power Couple Kit is approved, and that's a given. And the Space Race Fight Acne Oil and Pores is not approved, and boo! But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like me to review any particular product for you. And if you like me to answer any questions on these products, do let me know. I will be more than happy to uh, answer any of the questions you have. And please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you. Bye!